Welcome to our Quick Label QL300 Tech Support Tutorial. Today, we'll show you how to use your Quick Label QL300 to print from Adobe Acrobat on Blackmark material. Before you start, make sure that you have your Blackmark material and QL300 media settings chart. If you need a copy of the media settings chart, please contact Tech Support. Before you load your material, please take note of the material information on the tag inside of your label core. This tag contains important label information that you'll need for this tutorial. Now, let's begin. Go to the control panel and go into devices and printers. Click on your Quick Label QL300 printer, right click on it and select Printing Preferences. Under Label Setup, we have User Defined Paper. Click in here and then click on New Paper and give it a name. For the name, type Vellum Label. Enter the paper information. For the media form, select Continuous Paper Black Mark. For media type, we'll refer to our media settings chart. This is material 128. Select Plain Label and for media weight, select medium. Don't change these other settings for now. Now look at the black mark interval, the y-axis. The blue arrow indicates the distance between the top of the black mark to the top of the next black mark. In our example, it's 3.875 inches. Enter the paper width. This is the total width of the label. For our example, we're using 5.118 inches. And here we have the margins, which we cannot change. And now we're ready to click on Add. This is just a warning message because the length of the label is less than 4.13 inches. Just click OK. And here's our label name and size that we created. Notice that we have these margins that are not going to be changed. The gray area is your printable area. Your artwork should be equal to the size of this area. Subtract the margins from the size that you entered for the X and Y axis, and that will give you the size of your artwork. All right, close, apply, and click OK. OK, let's open our artwork. We're using Adobe Acrobat Pro for this demonstration. Notice that we sized the artwork to 4.9 by 3.67 inches. The width is the paper width X minus the right and left margins. The height is the black mark interval minus the top and bottom margins. Click OK. Now we're ready to print. Go to File and then Print. Let's select our printer. Click on Properties and from here select the size that we want and then you can click OK. And now we can select our quantity. We'll keep collate unchecked because the length of our label is below 4 inches, so we don't skip any labels. Click print and test out your labels. If we need to calibrate our label, we can go to user defined paper from the printer driver. Select your saved media type and then click on Sensor Adjustment. Click Next, assign a name that makes sense. We'll type Vellum and then click Next. Click Yes to overwrite. Now the printer is going through the calibration process. It'll take a minute to complete. The printer will feed about two or three labels and then it will complete the calibration process. Now that it's done, you can click Complete. If the printed image needs to be moved in any direction, you can utilize the print position correction options and then click overwrite. And click OK and then click close. And now we're ready to print again. We can click OK and then set our quantity. Enter your quantity and then make sure to uncheck collate. And then print. And that's it. Now you know how to utilize your Quick Label QL300 
printing from Adobe Acrobat on Blackmark material. If you have any questions, please contact tech support or visit us online at astronovaproductid.com.